Hey there, People Stack Tribe. Jen Bunk here. I'm a career coach for technical managers like you. I'm CEO of the People Stack. And in this episode, I am going to talk about the fear of success and why it's costing you in your career as a leader. It's costing you impact. It's costing you well being, mental, physical, emotional well being, and it's costing you thousands of dollars per month. You're gonna wanna grab something to take notes with on, within this one. Pay very close attention. Be right back. Hello, hello, People Stack family, People Stack tribe. On today's episode, filmed from our Airbnb in Kansas City, Kansas. We've actually never been to Kansas before, <laughs> so we had to stop and, and visit. So we are in the midst, in the literal, in the almost literal middle, in the literal middle of the, the country, at least the contiguous 48 states. We're in the middle of our road trip, our epic journey. And one of the things that Rob and I, my husband Rob, my co-CEO, um, my partner in life, my love, love of my life, my best friend, one of the things that Rob and I were talking about was fear of failure. And people talk about fear of failure all the time um, and how fear, really any kind of fear, can hold us down and keep us from living on purpose, right? And from and really mindfully with purpose on purpose, you know, building the best career that you possibly can. That if you fear failure, then guess what you're gonna create? You're gonna create failure because you're so scared of that what if. You're so scared that it's not gonna work out. You're so scared that even if you put in the work, why should I even bother? And so people talk about that all the time, and I think um, it's it's certainly relevant here. And and if you have a fear of failure, it's something that you definitely need to let go of and thrive through if you want to advance in your career and have more of an impact as a technical leader. But then we started talking about the fear of success as well. Like, what's the opposite of fear of failure? It's the fear of success. And one of the things that we've noticed in our own lives is that that's what's, hold, what, that's what's held us back in growing as leaders and in growing our business and it's growing as mentor and, as co- and coaches. And it's also something we notice a lot in our clients, especially in the beginning of their journey as well. So in this episode, what I want you to get out of this is to be able to identify how fear of success even though it may seem counterintuitive and illogical, why fear of success, yes, you are scared of success, and to notice, I promise our subconscious plays really, really kind of sneaky games on us sometimes. I want you to be able to notice and identify and pay attention to the areas where fear of success is holding you back in your career. And, of course, to be able to take the next steps, to be able to make sure that you don't let that fear of success really any fear grab hold of you and keep you from what you're capable of so yes fear of success is absolutely costing you in your career in your ability to level up in your ability to make an impact as a leader in your ability to to live a joyous life because fear of success absolutely leads to mental and physical and spiritual and emotional turmoil and of course we don't want that and it's also costing you thousands of dollars a month per well as well because as we've talked about in other episodes when you're not able to fully tap into your power as a leader as a human as a being with infinite powers who, where the, the universe has your back, nature has your back, God has your back, when you're not able to tap into that fully, you are leaving thousands of dollars a month on the table because you're not fully able to own your worth and you're not getting paid what you're able to. And so for, for the vast majority of our clients, when they get those raises, 
It is to the tune, actual money in the bank account of thousands of dollars per month or more, like into the five figures a month per more for some of them. So let's talk about fear of success. And I really want you to feel into this. I don't want you to just listen to this and be like, oh yeah, I get it logically. I really want you to feel it in your body, feel it in your cells and identify for yourself. Be honest with yourself. Because I know that the reason that you're listening here is because you want to create career transformation and you cannot create career transformation if you just listen to this and absorb this in a logical way, like up in your head kind of way. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I absolutely understand what you're talking about. Yeah, sure, that's that's happened to me too. It's like, yes, and I want you to really feel it and identify for yourself. Feel those moments. Go back to those moments. Take a deep breath. Put your hand on your heart and go back to those moments where fear of success has held you back and how exactly fear of success is holding you back right now. Because it is. Because it is. And I know this with 100% certainty, not just because I'm an expert in helping tech managers to upgrade your careers, not just because I've experienced this myself and I know that every single one of my colleagues and family members and friends have experienced it as well, also because... It's what happens. It's the law of the land. We we get scared about everything, including success, including success. So how might this show up? You may have already started. It's not not like I want you to turn off the logical brain. It can be helpful. You may have already started spinning the wheels on, okay, how has success held me back? So really, I want to give you a few examples here so that you can really lean into them. One place where fear of success might be holding you back is where you are, whether you're aware of it or not, you're asking yourself the question, what if it does work for me? What if it does work? It's like the opposite question that you would ask when fear of failure is driving the bus is driving your behaviors, is driving your emotions, is driving your actions, is driving your decisions. When fear of success is driving the bus, when fear of success is in control, what happens is, what if this does work? You know, we've shared lots of testimonials. You can, um, you know, you'll see them in the emails that we that we send. Um, And to subscribe to our email list, by the way, just go to training.thepeoplestack.com and you'll subscribe to our training, you'll watch our training, and then you'll have our our email list. Um, And we've also shared client testimonials and case studies and even have interviewed a few few clients in this, um, on this podcast and certainly in our Facebook group as well. Um, You can see the the testimonials there. And, um, you know, when we share them, we get lots of different responses for clients who have gotten 40, 50, one recently, 110% raise, leveled up from being an individual contributor, a high level individual contributor, but an IC, nonetheless, without any kind of leadership or management job title. And he just landed his dream job with a 110% raise as a director, as a director. And we're so, so proud of him. And I can't wait to have him, to interview him on this podcast and to share it with everybody so you can really kind of understand his story and his story of being a hero and his story of sticking with it even though it wasn't working, his story of taking the coaching and knowing that it was going to work and knowing and knowing and knowing and now he has his dream job and a lot of people in our sphere certainly fellow clients but also people in the the larger people stack sphere and and following are just cheering him on and on and so so happy for him others have been questioning whether or not it's true whether or not we're telling the truth or he's telling the truth or oh that 110 percent it mustn't be an actual salary it must be in like stock or things that he doesn't actually have yet or doesn't invest yet or the company needs to go public in order for him to get it. By the way, it's in salary. By the way, it's in salary. So people question it. But the other, and that's very common. It's very common, especially when you're living in scarcity. 
and you're living in what if and you're living in fear of failure. You question other people's success because you're like, what? That's not possible. But what's also interesting is we've seen people react to this kind of massive, amazing, absolutely possible, but still amazing success with, oh, wow. What if I could do that? What if that does work for me? Wow. I don't, whoa, hang on. Uh. (laughs) And then the flood starts coming in. For example, that means I have to change. In order to make that happen, like we, we can turn on the resourcefulness for a moment, right? Instead of jealousy, we turn it into resourcefulness and we say, all right, how can I do what Dave did? And he got 110% raise. How can I do that? And it's like, all right, what am I going to have to do? Oh, wow. That means I'm going to have to change. That means I'm going to have to do all these things that 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 are different because <laughs> that's what change means right that it, what i've been doing and i don't want to have to do that i don't want to have to change i want to just stay where i am i want to just keep doing what i have been doing so fear of success can show up like fear of change because you are used to, you're comfortable in doing things a certain way and approaching your career a certain way and approaching your work a certain way and approaching the way that you communicate with your boss and your boss's boss and your colleagues and the way that you have career conversations or not. Maybe you're not having any career conversations and that's exactly why you're stuck. And the reason that you won't have them is because you don't want to change. Deep down, logically, you know that you have to have those career building conversations in order to build your career. It's so logical. You have to have career building conversations in order to advance in your career. And yet we don't because we don't want to change. We want to stay the same. And so we're afraid of success because that means change and I don't want to change. Related to this, it would mean I would have to move outside of my comfort zone. All right, in order to get this success like the people stack clients are creating, like the other testimonials that we've shared, like Chuck and Sarah and all the others, in order to be able to do that, oh, wow, I see that they really had to, I watched that interview with Chuck, I watched that interview with Sarah, and I saw that they really had to step outside of their comfort zone. All right, that means I'm going to have to step outside my comfort comfort zone. All right, so it it actually, 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 I'm seeing that it could work for me, but no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be that uncomfortable. I'm not willing to be that uncomfortable. I want to stay in my comfort zone. Again, it's logical that if you want to have the same success as our clients, you follow the same path, you take the same actions. You tuck in behind them and you, and you, and you basically, you do you, right? You do it authentically. We're not asking you to be anybody else, but you follow the same actions. You follow the same structure. You get the same support. It's logical. Find someone. People talk about this all the time, right? If you want to succeed, in your career, in life, in any area of your life, you find someone who has done it. And even more, even more helpful, which we've talked about this before, right? You found someone, you find someone who has the coaching skill to show you how to do it. You you find someone who's done it, you find someone with a skill to show you what that core structure is. There has to be a core structure. We talk about systems all the time, right? It's not enough to just like, follow someone who has absolutely no coaching skill, no teaching skill, and doesn't really have any structure around it. I don't know how I did it. I just kind of did it intuitively, but I can try to show you how to to do it. That's not going to work. You find someone who's had the success that you have. You ask them, how did you get that? How did you create that success? Well, I hired this mentor and I followed their systems and I took these actions and I had these conversations and I evangelized my excellence 
and I kept taking that inspired intelligent action and I kept doing it on a daily basis and I was able to land my dream job. Yeah, okay, cool. So for order for me to do that, I need to take the same kinds of actions and follow the same structure and even easier, work with the same mentors that they did. It's only logical. And yet, our subconscious comes up and says, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to remain comfortable. I want to remain certain about what is going to happen. And the way to remain certain about what is going to happen is to keep doing what I have been doing. That's the story that we often tell ourselves. I need to control my life, and so therefore I'm just going to keep doing what I have been doing. I don't want to move out of my comfort zone. And when you ask yourself, when you tap into the infinite intelligence that you have available to you, is it true that if you keep doing what you've been doing, things are going to stay the same? Is it true if you keep doing what you've been doing that things are going to stay the same? Or maybe even get better. Maybe they can get better. It's not true because the law of the universe, the law of land, the law of nature, the law of God is change. So if you keep doing what you have been doing and it hasn't been working, that's why you're listening right now. I know that's why you're listening right now. And I'm smiling because I know a lot of you right in this moment are having that aha moment of that's exactly why I'm listening right now because things haven't been working. Wow. Wow. So if things aren't working and you keep doing what you've been doing, things are going to get worse. You're going to lose more money, more opportunities for growth. You're going to leave more impact on the table. Lives that you could have changed for the better with your innovative powers as a technical manager aren't going to happen. In whatever, even if it's just a little bit, whatever amount of mental, physical, emotional, spiritual anguish you're feeling right now, it's going to get worse. Because it doesn't feel good to just stand still in life and hope and pray that things are going to get better, to pray for a miracle. That doesn't feel good. That's not what we're meant to do. We're meant to shine our light and change the world. We are not here to make do. We are here to make history as technical leaders. So it does not feel good to simply stay stuck and stay comfortable. And you have to get to the bottom of that. Speaking of, we were talking about moving out of your comfort zone. And we also want to talk about what I've been doing hasn't been working. That has been, when we talk with clients, especially in our initial calls with them, that's one of the major revelations, one of the major aha sticking points, one of the major inflection points where they decide no more. What I've been doing hasn't been working. And that, that exact truth is what's keeping you from advancing in your career, from commanding a salary of 200K or more, and from living a life of joy and freedom and balance. Because that means you have to admit that you've been wrong, that what you've been doing hasn't been working. That's also how fear of success can, can show up. Because in order to succeed, I need to admit that what I've been doing hasn't been working. I need to admit that I failed. Or at least I need to admit that the actions I've been taking have not been the best or right or correct actions, best actions in order to get the outcome that I want. I have to admit that I'm wrong and I won't do that. That's how fear of success can show up. Because you won't admit that you're wrong. But for some of you, you're ready. For some of you, you are absolutely ready 
to admit I have been doing it wrong. What I've been doing has not been working and I need a better way. I'm ready to draw a line in the sand and forgive myself and with oodles of self-love be able to see how this is the precipice. This could be, if you choose, if you are willing to be the turning point in your career and in your life. Many of you are on the precipice of saying enough is enough with comfort, with safety. It doesn't exist anyway. Helen Keller got it right. Safety does not exist in nature, nor does it exist among the realms of men and women. Life is a daring adventure or nothing. So many of you are ready to grasp onto that truth. And so many of you are ready to change. You're not going to let fear of change get in the way of your success because you know that change is the law of nature. So I don't want fear of success or fear of failure or any kind of fear to get in your way anymore. If you're willing to take that next step, follow in the footsteps of our clients, like Dave or Chuck or Sarah or any of the others that we've shared and will share in the future. The first thing that they did when they were on that precipice of I will not do what's not working anymore and I am ready for change and I am ready to transform my career. The first thing that they did is they booked a call with us. Follow in their footsteps. Book a call with us. We make it easy so you don't have to overthink it. It's a no-brainer. This is not a logical decision. This is a a decision to live your purpose. This is a decision to change the world. It's a decision to change your life and in the process change other lives as well. The people you work with and your family as well. Make the decision to change your family's life by upgrading your career. Book a call with us. Thepeoplestack.com slash book. It's going to bring you to the page with our calendar. Pick your time zone first. Um, and then enter your name, your email, your phone number. It's going to be that once you click go and click submit, it's going to be in your calendar. It'll be in my team's calendar. And then you'll get some reminders via text just to make sure because it's really, really important. We do not want you to let life get in the way of this call, which is what for many of you, you've been holding back on. You're letting letting life get in the way. We don't want you to do that. Show up for that call. It'll be in your calendar. You'll get the reminders about it for that audio-only Zoom session for the most clarifying, transforming career conversation that you've ever had. Like I said in the beginning, you know it. You know it's true. In order to build your career, you have to have career-building conversations. Let the experts guide you. You don't have to keep throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks and banging your head against it at the same time. Let us guide you thepeoplestack.com slash book. Show up coachable. Show up ready to get resourceful. And we will show you the way to building your dream. Not, been, not anybody else's, to building your dream. Thepeoplestack.com slash book. Don't let fear of success get in your way anymore. Resolve that this is the moment right now that it will no longer hold you back. Big hugs, everyone. Bye for now.